Peace. So I came across this video in a Sean King post on Instagram of a teacher saying the following to his students. Deep down in my heart, I'm ethnocentric, which means I think my race is the superior one. Oh! <laughs> oh <laughs> no, let me First of all, in layman's terms, ethnocentrism is simply seeing things through the lens of your own culture. Ethnocentrism can be manifested in a racially bigoted way, but that doesn't mean that it is inherently racially bigoted, which is why you have bitter conflicts across the world between people of the same race, but different ethnicities. Exhibit A, Russia versus Ukraine. That said, the students gave the teacher ample opportunity to explain what he meant. They directly ask him, well, see for yourself. You are racist. You're saying you're like, you're I racist. think everybody's a racist at, at that level. No, you said you are racist. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> When asked directly, are you a racist, the teacher said yes, and then dragged everybody else in it by saying, hey, everybody's a little bit racist. But that's not really what this post is about. The teacher's been put on administrative leave and that whole process has begun of holding him accountable. But I couldn't help but notice in Sean's comments, the mental gymnastics that people were doing to deny that a racist who called themselves a racist is indeed a racist. And it just makes me think of all the times that a black person's indictment of white supremacy or white privilege or whiteness in and of itself as a social economic power structure is viewed as hating white people. Somehow y'all can hear a black rat peeing on white cotton from a mile away. But when a white teacher tells his black students, I am a racist, y'all ain't trying to hear it. He must be making a more philosophical point. <laughs> In the words of King Ed Rock, You wanna know why? We already know. We out you.